Hi guys, Deanne Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can configure variables in Copilot Studio to store data from Omnichannel or Dynamics 365 customer service. I'm actually going to show you the existing topic that's going to be installed when you're setting up that integration between Dynamics 365 customer service and Copilot Studio. And I'm going to show you how you can configure those variables to store data from pre-chat survey questions. The first thing I wanted to show you is how data from Dynamics 365 customer service is coming into Copilot Studio. And keep in mind, this is only happening once you have integrated those two together, right? And you can do that obviously by clicking here on settings and then clicking on customer engagement hub. And then here you can see omni-channel for Dynamics 365 customer service. So once you have connected this, then the system is actually automatically going to add this topic to your Copilot Studio. And this is actually not a topic that you can access. It's not under plugin actions. It's not under system either, but I did want to show this to you. So um, I have a trick where I can kind of pull up that particular topic that I'm talking about. And the reason for that is because again, some of those, uh, the values, right, that are coming over from Dynamics 365 customer service are being stored in these global variables. So let me just go ahead and click on one of those global variables. Then I can click on view all references. And then when I click on other, look at that. This is that hidden topic that I'm referring to. So if you click on that, you're going to notice that this is actually a managed topic and this is also a non customizable, right? But this is where those context items from Dynamics 365 customer service or Omnichannel are being carried over uh, to Copilot Studio. And if you kind of look at this, you can kind of see that over here, customer, you can see that, right? Um, and customer MSDON entity logical name. This is kind of hard to read. So usually I would open the code editor and this is kind of allowing us to kind of see the variables that are being set, right? So here set variable global.msdyn conversation ID. Let's see another one global.msdyn customer type customer name, customer ID, right? So this is how some of those values are being set. Now your question is probably going to be, okay, that's great. What now I can see some of those values that I have access to. And if you want to see which ones are part of that, you can do that very easily by just, you know, clicking here inside of that question and then clicking here on the variables, right? So anything that start with that global dot msdyn underscore those are the values that are being passed over right automatically by using that topic case id case number case title conversation id etc now you might have some additional values that you want to bring over so I'm not sure if you're aware, but let me just explain this to you inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. You can actually configure these pre chat or pre conversation surveys, right? You can do that inside of Dynamics 365 for customer service. And we can actually configure or make some configurations in Copilot Studio so that the values that are entered by your customers for those questions that they move over inside of Copilot Studio. So let me show you how to do that. First, I want to show you inside of Dynamics 365, 
right? We are here in my chat work stream. So you would go to work streams, select your chat work stream, and then you will click here on edit. Then you click on behaviors. You need to turn on your pre-conversation survey, and then you will notice your survey questions. So here is my, I have one for name, case number, email, and test two. And I think that is it. Let me just go back here. Name, case number, email address, and this is that test two, which is a drop down. So if I go back here, you can kind of see here that each of those survey questions has a unique survey question name, question text, answer type, and whether or not they're required. Now, the survey question name is very important because this needs to be unique. And this is also something that we're actually going to use in Copilot Studio to set that value inside of Copilot Studio from the survey question to Copilot Studio. So let me show you how we can do that. So remember, right, email is capital E and then M-A-I-L, name is capital N and then A-M-E. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go back here to my Copilot Studio and we're actually going to configure this on one of our system topics. And the reason for that is because I want this data to be brought over every time a conversation starts. So that's why I'm configuring this on my conversation start topic. I've actually already done this. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to delete this particular one. Let's just go ahead and say delete. And I'm gonna do it from here. So all you have to do here is click on add node. You're gonna to go to variable management and then you're gonna to go to set a variable value. Now, you can see here it says set variable. So you're probably going to create a new variable, right? You can call that whatever you want. You can call this um, Omni channel. I'm gonna call this Omni channel underscore email. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna now select the value. Which value do I wanna set in there? Now, this is where the name, that unique name of that variable that we saw in customer service is very important. So we're gonna set a formula. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. And you are going to enter text and then system.activity.value. And this is gonna be the name of that pre-chat question, that unique name, right, that we saw earlier. Let me pull this back up for you. So I'm talking about this email, that's what we're using. So when we're setting one up for name, you're gonna enter text, let me go back here, text system.activity.value.name, right? That's how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna click here on insert, and then we're going to go and save that. So now we have the email address as well. So once you've done that, um, that's really all you need to do. And now you have the ability to now use that omni-channel email variable throughout the application. Now, you do want to make sure that this is actually a global, right? A global uh, variable so that any topic can access that. And I think you also need to set this so that external sources can set those values. So just make sure that you actually save your topic, and then you can go ahead and start to use that variable, right? And then if I now go back here into my arc topic, and you saw that I actually didn't save that, but if I wanted to go ahead and now use that email, I would be able to pick it here from this list. You can see I already have a global email, so this is actually the one that I created, but I now have access to that directly from within Copilot Studio. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention here is that when we were working with Power Virtual Agents, I actually created 
a uh, an article because the way that we had to uh, configure, do some configurations, uh, that was a lot different than what I showed you today. So that that previous topic that is now automatically being installed as soon as you link your customer service, your Dynamics 365 customer service with Copilot Studio, um, I showed you that that topic is then automatically being added to the environment. That was not the case before. Previously, we actually needed to uh, configure this in Power Virtual Agents, and I wrote an article about that, right? So if you actually did uh, configure your environment based on what I showed you in this article, then you need to make sure that you actually remove those configurations. And the reason for that is because look, we're actually using the same variables here that that new topic is also using because that's what, where that data is stored. So it is going to stop working. So make sure that you're actually removing that topic and let me see here if I can find this in my old environment. And here it is. I actually called that topic pre-chat survey variable. So here you can see this is my email address variable. This is that test2 variable. And this is that msdyn underscore contact underscore blah, 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 right? Make sure you actually remove this uh, this particular topic, but then also make sure that all of the topics in your environment that are using this particular variable, you got to remove them, right? You got to remove those variables, variables, sorry, from those topics as well. And once you do that, then everything should be working. If that is not the case, just like it was with me, then you need to do something else. You actually need to check your provider of the bot user record. So let me show you how you can do that. So you're going to go to make.powerapps.com and then you're going to click on tables and obviously make sure you're in the correct environment. And then you're going to search for users. And let me see, here we go. I'm gonna to go to user. And you're going to add something that is called, there we go, the bot provider column. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, oh, that's not what I want. I'm going to look for bot provider. Here we go. Save it. And here it is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to search for that bot user. Now, this one is actually my bot user. And my issue was that my bot provider column was actually set to other. Now, this is very important because it actually should have been set to virtual agents. Now, the difference in bot providers is important because there's different functionality for a virtual agent type of bot or bot provider versus the other. So for example, the virtual agent type stores data variables differently than, for example, that Azure bots do. Now, in my case, since the user was set to other, no data from Dynamics 365 customer service was getting passed over to Copilot, right? So by changing the bot provider column from other to virtual agents, it actually fixed my issue. So make sure that if you are still having issues, if you went through all the things that I showed you today in this video and you're still having issues, then make sure that you're setting that bot provider column to virtual agent. And again, you can do that directly from within here. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.